Baseball from the Lone Star State. MLB the show as interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Texas Rangers. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. So the Philadelphia Phillies are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Blue. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with a win today. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about to get underway and getting the start. Martin Perez. Chris is up three ERA for him a year ago. Oh, and your numbers are coming in under three as a starting pitcher that's going out there every fourth or fifth day, taking the ball, competing against really good big league hitters. It's extremely impressive. And you wonder what he figured out last year that he can carry into this season that can help him to maintain that number or even drop it lower. We'll see, but we know he's got good stuff, and he should be really good in this one today. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. And fouled off. One, two now. That's the ball. Two and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And there's a ball. And that's ball that's four. four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. And now it's Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Perez, a former All-Star, he features a sinker, a changeup, a cutter, a four-seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. The pitch. That one missed. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. 2-0. Turner runs. Cut on and miss. Throw there. Safe. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. And it's fouled away. Two-two down. Good eye in that spot. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Three and two now. Got him swinging for the strikeout. The high heat too much on that one. Now it's the power speed combo. Brandon Jordan looking to stay hot after yesterday's game. Four for five in that one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One and oh. Turner leads off second with one gone in the inning. Ooh. 
next offering oh. is down low. And that's in for a strike. Well, don't expect too many more high ball, fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Three one is on the way. And a big swing and a miss. Three two now. And there's ball four. Well, they didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double play opportunity, so not a terrible result. Two on, one out, and now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Bryce Harper. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. One out. Runners at first and second. The pitch. Foul ball still 0-2. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Going to count one and two. Well, Boog, early on in this one, having a hard time getting settled in. He's not showing control to throw strikes and let alone to throw where he wants in the strike zone. This could be a tough one for him. Left-hand batter waits. Got him looking. Two away. Well, you've got to be ready to swing the bat with the runner in scoring position in two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you've got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. So first and second with two outs. And now the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. First offering, misses the mark. And another ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Hot shot to third. They take the force out, and that will end the inning. Phillies leave a couple, and now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, and on the hill, the lefty, Ranger Suarez. Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA, and you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out, and not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. That hits the dirt. No, no. Two balls, no strikes. Swing and a high fly ball to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. 
Yeah, that's a challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball, no ball in dirt. Laoti Tavares at the plate now. That's ball one. The pitch. Foul ball. And a pitch. In the dirt. Real Muto to first. And here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Two for seven in the series so far. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And here it comes. And now two and nothing. There's a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And swinging. We head to the second in Arlington. No score. New inning getting started. Now it's the DH, Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. And it's one and one. Boog, one of our one favorites, one Jerry Hillsdale umpiring behind home plate in this one. Pretty much by the book with his strike zone. And because he's so by the book, you'll sometimes see pitchers questioning him. They'll make a good pitch on the edge of the zone, want the strike, and not get the call. But most of the time, Jerry gets it right. He's a good one. Yes. And Castellanos oh. is out. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. This one high in the air to left center. Tavares makes the play, and there's two down. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys nicknames hometowns and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of yeah. small talk the umpire a little bit <laughs> that's great kyle schwarber stands in now and watches strike one chris one cool nugget on kyle schwarber he is homered in every type of playoff series a wild card game a wild card series a division series game a league championship series game and in a world series No score here in the second. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. That one what missing inside. Tells me he just lives for the big moment. It's sort of like the cycle of postseason homers. Did you say cycle? Next pitch oh. misses, two and two.
two outs. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Phillies down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Corey Seager. Suarez back to work. Just missed. And a 1 0. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against the firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here is Marcus Simeon. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that's in there for strike one. pitch in the dirt no advance good job behind the dish the next pitch misses two and two The belt and fires. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Seeger aboard here at first with nobody out. Let's go. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. Jonah Heim getting ready to hit. A switch hitter batting right. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. Kicks and deals. And strike two. And the 2 Bounced out to short. Turner. Slings to first. And there are two down. Now it's Robbie Grossman. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Oh, and two now. And now one, one two and strike. two. Right 
Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Two outs and one in scoring position. Up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to eat it, and that leaves him with runners at first and third after a tricky play. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Fall off foul. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Swing and a miss. Corners are occupied with two down. to short over to Harrison and that is that Rangers leave a pair we'll move to the third with no score I'm in my zone now when you don't smoke down I'm grown now yeah I'm on now welcome back now at the plate Josh Harrison the second baseman Josh Perez measures six feet even, 200 pounds, and he was selected for the All-Star game last year. The lefty, the 1-0. And he hits a ground ball right side. Over to Lowe. A great play deep in the hole. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Turner batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Oh, and two now. And yeah, that's downstairs One, and outside. Top of the third, no score. The wind of the pitch. That one the other way. Pulls it in for the out. The back. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman, Alec Bohm. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one ripped, but foul. The 1-1. One, one. Out to short. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to hold on to it. He's in safely, and now there's a runner at first. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. So two down. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. First offering misses the mark. Boom. Off of first with two away. Go, 
Next one misses, and a count two and one. Bounce to the left side. On to Simeon, out number three. So no runs here and a base hit, no errors, and one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Set for the bottom of the third, here's the rookie third baseman, Josh Young. Suarez, in his fourth year, 27 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Up the middle, dives, and he can't hang on. That leaves him without a throw, and they don't get the out. Here's Bubba Thompson. Fly to left his first time up. And that chance handled. Over to Turner for one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500-plus home runs, 3,000-plus hits, and a triple crown. Here's Leody Tavares. He's 0 for 1. That one's in there, 0 and 1. He's going, he's going. Runner on the goal. The pitch one. out. Real mutual throws, not in time. It's a stolen base. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang bang play. Statcast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Next offering is in for a strike. Runner at second here, one gone. And a pitch. And downstairs. Man at second. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. a laser base hit headed for the plate the throw home run scores easily and it's one nothing well how he let that ball travel trusted his hands nice job of going the other way now it's Corey Seager and he's already singled in this game First pitch, wow. not close. Seager, in his eighth season, 28 years old, and he's a former Rookie of the Year. Lowe leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Good eye right oh. there. The 2 1. Right Outside here. corner, there's a strike. And that now the count ball. filled up three and two.
Got him. Good job at damage control right there. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a one nothing ball game. Is this redemption for my soul? Back here at the ballpark, and now the right fielder, Bryce Harper. Certainly, you'd say Bryce Harper's signature moment, Game 5 of the National League Championship Series in 2022. That opposite field home run that put the Phillies ahead and would send them to the World Series of the Padres' Robert Suarez. The wind and the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Thompson under this one. And there's one down. Now the first base. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. First offering and it just misses. And there's a ball. The pitch. And misses inside. And a four pitch walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk, and that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. One down. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. He's over one. In there for strike one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And he deals. On the ground right side, four, six, three, double play. And the inning is over. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. And welcome back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Marcus Simeon. Suarez, back to work. And that's him for a strike. Chris, how about the 2021 season for Marcus Simeon? He was an all-star, and he hit 45 home runs. The 0-2. 1-2. Squibbed out in front of the play. Gets it to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Up next to the Ranger, the catcher, Jonah. And the batter now, Jonah Heim. Grounded out to short in his first trip. In there, and it's 0-1. It's 0-1. to the left side, but it is well fouled. One down, base is empty. And down on strikes he goes. Two gone now. Well, they clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to check the swing, just went around too far, and you're hoping the umpire maybe missed it, and they bail you out. Grossman, the next to hit, takes ball one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss.
the wide to kick the pitch. Bounce to the right. Harrison fires over to first. That is the inning. And the Rangers set down in order, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the catcher, JT Real Muto. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And the pitch. And that's in for a strike. Ball right side. Simeon toss over to first. And Real Muto is out. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Grounded to low. And it goes That's just up. foul. Chris, remember the Cubs won it all in 2016. Well, Kyle Schwarber suffered a regular season-ending left knee injury two games into the oh, year, April 7th. He had torn ligaments in that knee. One down, Phillies down a run. That one Number drifts one. inside. But he was added to the World Series roster and became the first position player to collect a hit in the World Series after going hitless during the regular season, he still has the text from Theo Epstein that said, you made the World Series roster. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. Here's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. Grounded out his first time up. First pitch, and he just misses. One ball, no strike. That clips a corner. One and one. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Tapped out in front of the plate. In plenty of time to first. That ends the frame. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And it remains 1-0. Don't let drama phase me. See on my grind heavy for my babies. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. The pitch. And takes low for ball one. 1-0. One -oh. There's a the strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen one that one. pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And now the lefty. And that's outside. outside ball. Just oh. off the inside edge. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. The wind of the pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. And the pitch. And a pop-up right side foul territory. Hoskins makes the catch, and there's one down. The third baseman, number six. Josh Here's Josh Young. Reached on an infield single his first time. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one.
ground ball left side and it gets by him and he'll be safe at first the left fielder number eight and now Bubba Thompson taken high in the draft he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform but at some point that starts to go away and you've got to produce at the big league level first pitch oh, just is. misses That one missed. Oh. Up. The next That's offering the misses. And now 3-0. Three and oh. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 -oh count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Young, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And ball four to a board. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Leody Tavares. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Next pitch downstairs, and that's wow. ball one. Oh, I think really just tried to be careful, man in scoring position there, see if he can somehow navigate through this lineup, get a more favorable matchup, perhaps get him to roll over on a changeup, get a ball on the ground, get a double play, and get out of this. Next offering is in for a strike. Back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high-level spot right there. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Now here is Nathaniel Lowe. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, one. That's inside. No, that missed, I think ultimately ball. you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Movement in the bullpen. Andrew Bellotti getting loose out there. Strong, the lefty, warming up as well. The pitch. Bounce to the right side. Hoskins goes to second. Safe there. Throw is wide and it gets past him at first. Pulls him to third safely as two runs score on the play. Well, some errors hurt way more than others, right? I mean, two runs come in right there, so definitely a tough one to get over. And that could have been a very different result if they make the play cleanly. Runners at first and third. Corey Seager stepping in for the Rangers. In there for strike one. Ball nope. one. Ball. One ball, one strike. First and third, one down. One down. And strike two. One and two to count.
they drop him out looking with the off-speed stuff. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Runners on first and third, two away. Next offering in the dirt, and it's 2-0. He takes a strike. Just get the bases. The two on. Yeah, that Three skips in the dirt. The three one. Out towards right center field. Harper has a beat on it. Brings it in, and that is the third out of the inning. They put two on the board on two hits, an error, but two are left stranded. Five innings complete. It's the Rangers three, and the Phillies nothing. Welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Trey Turner at the plate. Perez back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Turner measures six feet, two inches, 185 pounds, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Heim pulls that one down, and there's one away. Now batting, third baseman, Alec Bohm. And now for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Next pitch is downstairs. 1-1. One, one. On the ground, right side. Over to low. Two up, two down. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Two outs, base is empty. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Jordan. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Nope, that's in. Smash to the left side. Oh, look at the stop. The throw, and they get the out. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Rangers three and the Phillies nothing. Andrew Bellotti on a pitch out of the pen here. This is his first appearance of the season. Number 64, Andrew. So digging in, Jonah Heim. For the Rangers, the catcher. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Just missed. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Yeah. 
And a good oh, eye there. Ah. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Count is full. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Leading off for the Rangers. So now the DH spot. Robbie Grossman. First offering misses badly for ball one. Bellotti, in his second season, he features a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. Next pitch Ball. misses inside, and now 2-0. Oh. Stirring in the Phillies' bullpen, Gregory Soto is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Riding to the plate. 3-0. Fastball in for a strike, and the count is 3-1. and one. Rudder at first with no outs here. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And that should be extra bases. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you've got to make a pay. Dolis Garcia digs in now. They say it went. Kicks and fires. And now it's oh. even up. One and one. And downstairs. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Take it deep. Yeah. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. This to third. Boom. Throws on to first. And Garcia is out. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. That one's in there on one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. And the righty deals. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. No, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Thompson in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Let's get a couple runs. 
Next offering way upstairs. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Two -0. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Balls, one strike. That's in there. Two balls, two strikes. On the ground, right side. Whips it to first on the run. And that is the inning. So they strand a pair. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Rangers three and the Phillies nothing. Back here at the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Bryce Harper to the plate. And here it comes. There's a strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. The 0-1. Good eye right there. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Jose Leclerc. The veteran right-hander appears to be loosening up. Spores getting loose as well. On the ground, Simeon gloves it, fires over to first. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. And the first wow. offering is not close. And a pitch. Ball, that's down. Turned on, but foul wide of third. The pitch. Right. In for a strike. That's strike two. Ground ball base knock. Now that be the hit. Dominant yeah. performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is gonna knock him off his stride too much. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And a foul ball. The 0 2. Got him swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. First offering, and it just misses. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches.
Next pitch is outside. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Here's a 2-2. Bounced up the middle. He dives, but he can't make the catch. No throw, and the defense comes away with nothing. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at-bat, battling with two strikes. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. And digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And that's in there for strike one. No ball, one strike. Let's get him out. The tying run at the plate. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Hoskins at second, Real Muto at first, two out of the inning. Next pitch misses, ball two. Two balls, one strike. They say it went. Two balls, two strikes. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Around third, Tavares. Fires it to the plate. Here's the tag, they get him. And that's the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Matt Strong. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. Number 25, Matt Strong. Now it's the switch-hitting outfielder, Leody Tavares. The pitch. On the ground, right side. On to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now batting the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Up next for the Rangers, Nathaniel Lowe. Yeah. In there for strike one. Kicks and deals. Good eye right there. So now one and two. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. At the belt and fires. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, this has the potential to fire up the offense. Only one out, and now a base runner on first. You've got to stay out of a double play if you're going to make something happen here. And there he goes. Tapped up the first base side, and he grabs it foul. 
stops it on the slide. Now the 0-1. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. down the line and it drops foul into the corner going two now gets a piece and stays alive That misses one the two. zone, and it's one and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Next one misses, two and two. Two and two. Left hand hitter waits. Bows it back with two strikes. Left-hand batter waits. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at-bat alone. Really making them work out there. And he deals. Good job to fight that one off. And now the lefty. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And a pitch. Still 2-2 two and two after the foul ball. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Man at first. Next up for Texas, Marcus Simeon. First offering misses the mark. The pitch. And the 1 0 oh. misses low. 2 0. Oh. Hard hit left side. It's in and out of his glove. Force it second, and they get the out. Stayed with it nicely. Rangers lead one, but they lead it 3 0. We go to the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. The Phils in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And the pitch. Hi. That's a strike. Strike one. Meanwhile, no activity in the bullpen. Brock Burke, the left-hander, up and throwing. And the pitch. Next offering misses down and away. The next pitch misses and a count two and one. In the air, out towards left center, and that'll fall for a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. So the Philly batting order turns over. 
Here's Trey Turner. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Applies the tag, and they get two. Double play. So up next, Alec Bohm. Next offering is down low. One and one oh. ball, no strike. And that one fouled off. All right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. He was all over that one. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. And now for the Phillies, Brandon Jordan. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Next pitch downstairs, ball one. Now one and one. One and one. And here it comes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. outside into center and a base hit so that's two straight two out hits well singy he is locked in there well he's really slowed the game down and it's like he's moving in full speed and everybody is a step or two behind the way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Martin Perez is done. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Jose Leclerc will take over here. Your attention, please. And now here is Harper. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Boom. The lead runner out at second. Jordan on at first with two down. The next offering misses, and it's a ball and a strike. He swings and fouls one off. The one-two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Pulled the string of the changeup. So a job well done from the Rangers' bullpen that time. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Rangers three and the Phillies nothing. Righty reliever out of the pen, Connor Brogdon. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. The catcher, Jonah And a pitch. And there's the strike. Pitch has popped up. Makes the grab. One down. 
the designated hitter, number four, Robbie Grossman. Next is the designated hitter, Robbie Grossman. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Inside oh, just it. missed. Yeah, Rangers. Next pitch is Both. outside. Righty to the plate. Ground ball to Bohm. And that one handled. And a couple of quick outs. So next to hit for Texas, Adolis Garcia. That one's in there on one. high fly ball out to left center he's there he's got it and the inning is over nothing doing for the Rangers but they're on top by a count of three to nothing so out of the bullpen for the Rangers Brock Burke number one Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. Burke, 26 years old, and he was a third-round pick back in 2014. There's a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch, and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger, and perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at-bat to hit. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Whips it to first. One up, one down. Now that the designated hitter, Nick. And now the Castellanos. DH, Nick Castellanos. On, First pitch oh. doesn't find the zone. And a swing and a miss there. One, one. The one, one. Ball. Two, one. Just missed. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Good plate oh, appearance there. Able to take the walk. They're not ready to go home quite yet. The battle. The JT Real Muto steps in. And that's in there for strike one. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. Next offering upstairs. Oh, 
the pitch. Two and one. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Castellanos at first, one gone. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And there's two down. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter if he's prepared for it can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Schwarber, the next to hit, takes outside. The pitch. Two balls, no strikes to count. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Kicks and fires. And there's a ball. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on-deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. And he walked him. Not what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. And now Josh Harrison, corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And that just misses. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Got him! And that's the ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on the wall. You just can't forget your first save. A shutout in this one. 3-0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.